Good morning YouTube, welcome to my solar power station. These are my fabulous panels. And there's eight of them behind me and there's one just over there. I've actually hit a bit of a snag. These panels are obsolete and now I've got a problem to try and solve and I'm hoping that the solar community is going to be able to give me some helpful suggestions. The problem that I'm trying to solve is that this area gets very hot. I, for very good reasons I painted it green three years ago. Um, it should have been painted white, but I had good reasons at the time. And I need to put a sunroof over the top to stop the heat from the sun heating up this roof which radiates straight into the kitchen. Now I could have put on a sunroof like the one over there, um, or I can put on solar panels. And that's what these panels do. They create a shade just under here, which makes electricity and keeps the sun off. Excellent. And that's what I'd like to continue. There's actually nothing wrong with any of my solar system. Everything's working exactly as it should do. And I should expect 25 years out of it. But they don't make these panels anymore. They make them differently. And that's my problem. I've already welded the brackets onto the roof. This will make it very easy to put up an extra four panels, which will bring me up to three kilowatts. The extra kilowatt means that in winter I should be able to fully charge the batteries by the end of the day. And in the summer we should have some extra power for cooling the kitchen. This is what I'm looking for. The module is called SSM-250M-96. No one in Australia seems to be able to obtain them, and I can't find them on eBay. I'm hoping that someone in Australia has got four panels that I can purchase for a sensible price. If I can't get more of the right panel, there are other options. I'll go through what I think these options are. But before I do that, please bear with me whilst I give a short explanation of simple solar system to those who aren't completely familiar. So here's a little history of how I arrived at assembling my 240 volts. I started with two 250 watt panels. And they're linked together and that so there's a positive and a negative and they go to a charge controller and that feeds or it used to feed a 12 volt battery so we have a positive and a negative this system very successfully ran the TV the computers and 12 volt water pumps it was excellent When I decided that we wanted to run a real fridge freezer, I had to add six more panels and I changed the battery, the voltage in the battery to being 48 volts. This system of eight panels creates 2000 watts or two kilowatts of power. I've been running this system very successfully and we've added an air conditioner and we've added a second chest freezer and I'm very happy with it. So that's awesome. Okay, for those of you that don't really know very much about solar, I'll just explain us what a string is. So when you have a roof and you put on your solar panels, then they're all joined together and they go to your charge controller. And if the sun is shining from here, all of these panels are looking in the same direction with relationship to the sun and they'll all be on one line and that line will go to the charge controller and so the second end goes in 
and that will be called a string. Now sometimes people need more than one string. So if your roof is like that, so this side is facing east and this side is facing west, this is very exaggerated just to prove a concept, and you've got panels here and panels here. So these get morning sun and these get afternoon sun. So when these are being lit up, these are producing a lot of power, but these are producing very little. When the sun comes around to this side, these are producing lots of power and these are producing very little, and so you get an imbalance. So what you do is you have a string on this side and you have a string on this side. Cheap charge controllers can generally only handle small size strings and they're usually not very efficient. A better quality has something called MPPT which is maximum power point tracking which gets a lot more of the electricity into the batteries from the solar panels. They're more efficient. You normally need a better quality unit to be able to handle two different strings by itself. OK, so two and a half years ago, the standard solar panel, which is what I bought, was making 50 volts, 5 amps. But nowadays, a similar size panel, 250 watts, is making about 36 volts and 7 or 8 amps. Now those numbers fluctuate slightly, but there's a big difference between 50 volts and 36 and 5 amps and 7 amps. This difference means that I can't put these, mix these panels with these panels in the same string and that's my problem. I'm trying to locate some more of these panels. I need four of them. This is my charge controller. It's made by Outback and it's actually really quite nice. This pair of cables are going to the battery and this pair to the solar string. It's currently handling two kilowatts but it's capable of handling four. Adding the extra panels will only bring it up to three kilowatts so I'm well within its range. All of my panels are at the same angle in the same direction so I really only need one string. The Outback charger can only take one string, however. The simplest and easiest solution is to fit more of the right size panels. I could replace all of the solar panels with a different variety, however this would be extremely expensive and it would be a huge amount of work. I could fit four of the new solar panels, which would be very simple. This would mean I need a second charge controller. A decent charge controller is a very expensive item. I would have to run new switch gear and add extra thick copper wire as well. I thought we'd done well to get a decent charge controller that would grow if we expanded our needs. So it's a little disappointing to have the solar panels go obsolete and not be able to add extra panels. Now I can't believe I'm the first person to experience this. So what on earth do you do in the industry when somebody arrives at this point? I'd really appreciate some interactive help with this. So something useful would be, Paul, I've got four panels. Something that's probably not going to help is, have you tried company X? I think there'll be some really good karma or some fabulous publicity for anybody that helps me over the line with this. So thank you very much. So if you found that interesting, you'll enjoy the top left video. It's how I install all the panels onto the roof. The top right is how I wire them up with a charge controller and inverter. The video at the bottom describes the ebook in which I go into glorious detail about the entire project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next instalment of the adventure.